So what I have set up here in, uh, in my uh, janging jig here is a this is a center out of a Royal Live Center and it's really chewed up here on the end and it has some uh, tool cuts in it. Uh, I don't really want to use it because the, you don't know where you're going to sit uh, when you use this in a part on a lathe, right? And uh, it's a good center, a three bearing Royal Center, but it's been kind of abused a bit. So what I want to do is I want to regrind this. Uh, and so I have it set up here and we're, I'm, like, I'm checking, I'm, I'm measuring it on a part that is just behind the seal. So this shouldn't have any wear here on the, on the part. So you, you can see here this, this, this uh, spot is uh, behind the seal. The shiny spot is where the seal was was rubbing. So this this is, should be an untouched area right there. And uh, we're gonna give that a spin. And if you could, I don't know if you could see it. Now if this is probably inherent in the. That's because this is about the best I can get. So this is inherent play in my rotating jig here uh this is a suburban uh master grind or something it's a it's an old one it's not ball bearings and uh, it's probably got about one and a half to two tenths on it that, that's about as good as i can get is one and a half to two tenths there so that it's you know a couple tenths is going to be okay i think for this so I'm going to take it over the grinder and we're going to give this a grind here. Uh, measuring it out here on the end, it's half a thousandths out. Uh, so, I, and out here, uh, I can get it, you know, three or four tenths. This is the best measurement. Uh, so, I don't, I don't think it's bent, but uh, it, 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 it probably from original. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna grind that and hopefully get it a, a lot better shape that it's in I know it's awful uh, Rube Goldberg here and I have a sign plate And then I clamp my jig to that set at 30 degrees and uh, I measured the tip of this. It's actually not It's uh, a little less it's actually less than 60. So somebody might have worked on it before and they didn't I get it at 60. I'm just going to be spinning this gently by hand and bringing the crane bring down. There, just barely touched.
Yeah, all the nicks and dings and full contact around there. All the tool marks and wear marks are all out. We still have some cuts on this straight part, but uh, actually, what I could, I'll put it down flat and I'll, I could touch that up. I think that's all we'll need to do. This isn't too bad. There's a couple dings up in here that from tools, uh, you know, lay tools, people coming back and hitting it. But, yeah, they're minor. These are pretty uh, simply made units, really. Uh, this is a three bearing one. Uh, the one race is still on here. I didn't take it off, the uh, inner race. And uh, these three. Uh, bearings here they're all the same go on there you know boom and uh, screw on the end they go on there uh, they're, 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 they're snug fit but they go on and uh, the screw on the end holds them and on the outside here uh, there's this uh, seal you know and the whole cartridge goes in here and presses on in and that's it that's all that holds it in you know, because your pressure is this way when you're using it. And uh, a little oil oil screw here, filled there, and a little butt tail end screw that goes here. They, uh, somebody put a uh, on tape on it, it looks like. Oil probably was leaking out. That's probably why Teflon tape on there. These are a, this is an oil filled and uh, there's a, you know, hole all the way through. So, yeah, so the oil could easily leak out of that <laughs> plug there. So, we'll, yeah, I'll put Teflon tape back on there. Uh, and uh, that's about it. It's a, it's a Royal. Like I said, they're pretty simple. They're uh, very nice. Uh, I got it on eBay. Uh, we'll make an offer thing and uh, they took my offer, so. Got a, you know, I think pretty, uh, pretty decent. Uh, other than it need a little bit of work. Like I said, the bearings, uh, I cleaned them up. Uh, they're, they're in fairly good shape, really. So we're just gonna, we're gonna slip these back on, and uh, they, they might have to be a little persuasion here. They're in a, they have a. Uh, Oh, it's it's plastic of some sort of a cage here, and uh, they will slip. To, these ones came apart too, coming apart. They'll slip together. Just might uh, just take a a little bit of uh, persuasion. A little. All right, that they're all in there. I poured a lube oil down inside, and uh, very very smooth. Very very smooth. Uh, the screw on the end, kind of a pretension deal, but there's zero, absolutely zero play and uh, smooth, very smooth action. Now, I might end up having to adjust that a little bit after I use it a little bit, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, now that goes right back in here. Now, this is a very, very close fit. It, uh, there you go, all together. Oil fill plug in place, 
plugging the end with new Teflon tape on there. Uh, you need to put it in good and tight and seal it because the oil will come out of here. And uh, and the seal in the front ring is in place. Feels good. And uh, tip looks great. We'll uh, put her in the lathe and uh, give her a go. See how she uh, performs. Thanks, you guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And uh, thank you for watching.